Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. These short stories are written for Upper Intermediate, B2, to Advanced, C1 English learners. We also have some vocabulary explanations after each of the short stories. Ready? Well, let's get started. Three short stories in British English. Rachel's Heartache Rachel had been with her partner for many years, but one day they realised they didn't have the same life goals anymore, so they decided to part ways and break up. It was difficult because they had spent so many years together and had so many memories. Now her partner had left their shared home, her days felt a little empty. But as time passed, she found strength within herself. Friends and chats over cups of tea helped mend her heart. And soon she realised that even after the darkest night, the sun would rise again. It was a cheesy saying, but so very true. Even though she cried and felt upset sometimes, each day brought a new chance for joy, and Rachel embraced the simple pleasures that painted her world with colours again. She saw more of her friends, took up running again, and entered a half marathon to have something to work towards. She discovered that healing took time and that every sunrise brought a promise of hope. Now let's go through the vocabulary from this short story about Rachel. Found. Found is to discover or come across something. They found a hidden treasure in the old attic. Healing. Healing is the process of becoming whole or healthy again. The soothing music had a healing effect. Joy. Joy is a lovely feeling of great happiness or delight. The children's laughter filled the room with joy. Marathon. Now, you can have full or half marathons. Either way, they're a long distance race that are typically on roads. John trained every day for the marathon. Now, this next word is quite hard to pronounce. Strength. Strength. This is the quality or state of being strong. Emma was gaining strength as she continued to go to the gym. Cheesy. Cheesy. This is something that is exaggerated or unsubtle and it's often used to elicit, so to bring out, an emotional response. We have also started saying movie a lot more in British English, not just American English. So the romantic movie or film was a bit cheesy, but it made them smile. Discovered is to find something for the first time. The explorers discovered a hidden waterfall in the dense forest. Now, let's move on to our second story about John the baker. John had never really thought much about baking until one day he watched some Instagram videos and realised he might actually enjoy it. He then decided to embark on a baking adventure. He was determined to conquer the world of cakes and pastries. With flour-covered hands and a dash of determination, he created his first masterpiece. It was a simple but tasty sponge cake. His kitchen smelt delicious and when he took his first bite of the cake, he was filled with pride. Baking became his new passion and he loved to see how he could turn simple ingredients into something amazing. Every creation was a step in his baking journey proving that anyone could find happiness in the simple pleasure of a well-baked treat. 
through each batch, John discovered not just the art of baking, but the joy of creating something special with his own hands. It was like mindfulness to him. His kitchen transformed into a place of delight, where every mixing bowl held the potential for a delicious new treat. John's friends also loved his new hobby, as they could sample all of his new creations. Now, there's quite a lot of advanced vocabulary in this very short story, so let's go through some of them. Masterpiece. Something that is created with great skill and beauty. John proudly presented his cake to his friends as his masterpiece. Conquer. Conquer. To conquer is to successfully overcome or achieve something that was very challenging. John worked hard to conquer his fear of public speaking. Pastries. Pastries are sweet or savoury baked goods like croissants or danishes. John's bakery sold a variety of delicious pastries. To embark. To embark means to start a journey or a project. Liz decided to embark on a solo adventure across the UK. Determined. To be determined means to have a strong resolve and to be committed to achieving your goals and targets. Despite challenges, Jake was determined to improve his skills in playing the guitar. Passion. Passion means a strong and intense enthusiasm or interest in something. Sarah pursued her passion for painting. What's your passion? Potential. Potential is the capacity to develop and achieve something. The young athlete showed great potential. Dash. A dash is just a small amount or addition. So to enhance the flavour of the soup, the chef added a dash of fresh herbs. Pride. Pride is a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction that you get from your own achievements. As the team captain, Emily felt a sense of pride when they won the championship. To sample. To sample is to try or experience a small portion of something. The chef encouraged customers to sample the new dessert. Transformed. To transform is to change significantly in form, appearance or character. With a fresh coat of paint and new furniture, the old room was transformed. Treat. We mention treats a lot in this story. And these are something enjoyable or indulgent and they make you very happy. After a long day, Jane treated herself to a relaxing bath. Now, let's go to the last story. And this is all about Liz's adventure. Liz was a lovely elderly lady who had done many exciting things in her life. From climbing mountains to sailing vast oceans, her life had been one exciting adventure after another. Liz was a firm believer that her wrinkles told tales of roaring lions in Africa and silent meditations in Asian temples. Each wrinkle on her beautiful face held memories of laughter, challenges and the joy of living fully. Liz had twinkling eyes and loved to share her stories, proving that a life well lived was an adventurous journey no matter the age. Her experiences were a testament to her spirit that could turn each day into a new chapter of fun. 
The lessons Liz learned from her travels were simple yet profound. Embrace life, cherish moments, find joy in every step of the journey, and remember that every wrinkle is a story waiting to be told. Now, let's go through the advanced vocabulary in this very short story about Liz. Profound. Profound means having deep meaning or significance. The old book contained profound wisdom and interesting stories. Roaring means making a loud, deep, powerful sound like the lions. The roaring waves crashed against the shore during the storm. Wrinkles. We all have wrinkles and these are a small line or fold on the surface of something like your skin and these usually happen due to getting older, to ageing. Each wrinkle on her grandma's face showed how much she had laughed. Embrace. To embrace is to hold closely someone or something in your arms and it is a sign of affection. The friends shared a warm embrace after not seeing each other for years. Testament is something that serves as a sign or evidence of a fact or an event. The garden was a testament to her dedication and care. Now, we do have some intermediate and slightly lower intermediate words in this story that we'll explain. Adventurous. If you are adventurous, you are willing to take risks or explore new and exciting things. The adventurous travellers climbed the steep mountain to enjoy the breathtaking view. Joy, we have explained in another story and it means a feeling of happiness. Here's another example. The surprise party brought joy to the birthday girl. Laughter. This is the sound of someone laughing. The children's laughter echoed through the park, creating a lovely atmosphere. Spirit. Spirit is the non-physical part of a person, and it's often linked to emotions or how you feel. Her resilient spirit helped her overcome challenges. Tales. Tales are stories or accounts of events, and sometimes they are passed down through families. The old storyteller entertained the children with tales of faraway lands. Vast. Vast means extremely large in size, extent or degree. For example, the explorer looked at the vast desert, stretching out as far as the eye could see. We hope you enjoyed these lovely English short stories and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off and you can find the link in the description box below. See you soon.